Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you five different free video effects that you can use in Adobe After Effects. These are primarily glitch effects, so I would look into using them in music videos and maybe text animations. Everything's going to be linked in the description. If you guys want more tutorials like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and with that being said, let's get straight into it. So four of these effects are actually just built in effects and one of them requires a third party software. So you guys can check the link in the description. Everything's free. I've seen a lot of these effects in music videos and stuff like that. So I would look into um, maybe replicating it in a different software. If you're not using After Effects, just search up the effect name. I encourage you guys to look around for easier alternatives if any of this is too difficult or if you're using a software that doesn't have these effects. So right here, I got a video of Drake. I, I did a little animation right here. So I'm going to show you the most basic effect I see, and it's called the RGB split effect. There's multiple ways to do this, but in After Effects, there's a built-in plugin. So if you search up VR digital glitch in the effects, you may see it. Or if you search up chromatic aberrations, it does a very similar thing. So I'm going to start with this one. So you can see what this does. It sort of splits everything up into three different colors. So you um, usually see RGB, so red, green, blue. So I would use this specific effect uh, for this RGB split effect just because it's very basic. You don't have to adjust much. So I can just drag and drop. The other one, which is digital glitch, does something very similar, but it adds like uh, distortion to it. So you can see here, it adds these blocks. I personally don't like this. And so uh, what I usually do is I just go to distortion and change the distortion rate and complexity. And then it achieves the same thing basically, but it takes longer. So that's why I don't use this. And to increase the strength, you just want to increase the color distortion. So it shifts all the colors a little bit more. Um, there's different ways you can do this. I've seen other people duplicate a bunch of layers and stuff like that, but that takes much, much longer. This is just an effect you can use. And if you guys have an issue where something pops up, um, you just want to go to file preference. And if you're on Mercury software only, um, you want to switch to the GPU acceleration. I don't have a GPU on my laptop, but it still works. So if you guys are on um, software only, this is what shows. So you just want to go to file preferences or project settings, my bad. So anything that uses VR effects um, typically does that. The next effect is something that you can sort of adjust a little bit more. And I've seen this effect applied on text a lot. So you want to make a new solid, so like a blank background. So I'm going to make this black. You want to search up fractal noise, apply it to the black layer. You want to increase the contrast a bunch. You want to turn the noise type to block. So it's a bunch of squares now. Go to transform, uncheck uniform scaling and increase the width a bunch. Decrease the height. And basically if you sort of cycle through the evolution, you can see it move a bunch. So you actually want to set keyframes for the evolution. So if you just go to this arrow, go to effects, fractal noise and go under evolution, you want to set it. So I'm just going to increase it a bunch. You want to set that at the end. And at the beginning, you just want it at zero, zero. And so basically when you cycle through, it's just this, right? Next, you want to pre-compose this clip. So right click and press pre-compose. And then you want to go and search up displacement maps and you want to apply it on whatever video clip or photo you want to apply this glitch effect on. So we're going to put it on the Drake layer. We're going to hide the black solid layer right here and under displacement map layer, you want to select the black solid layer and source. You want to go to effects and mask. And now you can see there's a subtle effect. That's why the edges are like black and you can increase this effect more by changing the max vertical displacement and the max horizontal displacement. And I would also scale in on the original clip because the borders are going to be a little bit off. I personally think this looks better on text. So I'm going to apply it on a text layer. So let's delete displacement map on this make a text layer. It's called a Steven. So if you drag the displacement map onto the Steven text and select black solid and then go to effects and mask for the source, the original layer needs to increase its evolution a little bit. There's actually a way to make it a little bit easier. So if you hold alt and click on the evolution stopwatch, you'll see an expression pop up right here. You want to delete it and type in time asterisk 500 and then exit out. So just click outside that window and it'll give you the ideal evolution. So you can see what that does. 
but if you want to adjust it a little bit more you would adjust the evolution by yourself so typically i do this for text the next effect i'm going to show you is the bad tv effect it makes your video look like a bad tv like an old tv and there's actually three different basically built in looks that you can just drag and drop if you search a bad tv you can see it right here i like the first two personally so here you can see it adds a bunch of noise it adds a wave warp and the best thing is it actually shows you what it uses so that you can sort of pick and choose which ones you like you can delete certain ones so yeah this one uses wave warp a lot of them use wave warp so i would look into the ad effect the second one you can see what that does this one boosts up the saturation a bunch i would also scale in your clip if you're going to use this because once again um the borders show black and the last one's my least favorite but it applies the most like glitchiness to it so you can see what that does so this one uses uh ventilation lines and yeah the next effect i'm going to show you is displacement maps again um, but there's a different way you can use it so before we actually use a displacement map layer to base it off of but for this one we're actually just going to use the effect itself so we're going to use keyframes for this so you want to go to effects displacement map right here we're going to use the max horizontal displacement and vertical displacement again so you just want to set a keyframe for both i'm going to move it to the beginning and the way I've seen this be used the most is to sort of create this out of body effect. So you just want to sort of mess around with the settings. So typically I like to move it left or right from the original. And it sets those keyframes and then you just want to set it back so you can just copy and paste them. So you can see it creates like a sort of 3D effect. Once again, you would want to scale in because this displacement map sort of shifts everything left or right. So you can see what that does. It adds this really distorted look. The last effect I'm going to show you is called data moshing. It's a very popular trippy video effect. I just found a free software that's very easy to use. It's called data mosh studio. I'm going to leave it in the description. I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to show you how to use it. So you want to create a new project and it has to be a folder that's empty. So you can just press make new folder. I'm going to press OK. So this really just works with videos that have multiple clips. If you have just one clip, it doesn't work on um, that well. So we're going to just keep the format and all that. You want to press import video. You want to change the format to whatever video type you have. So I'm going to select this video right here. It's going to import. And basically, once you're done, you want to select the video right here. It should pop up. And then you want to press delete iframes. And you want to move to the end of the video with this playhead and you want to see how many frames um the video is so we're going to select it right here so obviously the aspect ratio is messed up because i forgot to change it in the settings at the start um but we can adjust that later so you can see at the end it's 528 so we're going to go to 528 delete iframes press insert and then it should show up right here we want to select it again over here press export and then it's going to export. I don't know where it exports to. So what you can do once it exports is copy to. So we're going to call this aug2. I think it's done. I'm going to import it into After Effects. So you can see the aspect ratio is a little bit messed up. So you can see what that does. It creates this glitchy, trippy effect between uh, two clips. It's also lagging a bit just because of this preview quality, but you can see what this does. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know if you want any specific types of videos. Um, just name it below in the comment section. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.